today I'm going to show you all of my favorite products of 2012 and I knew that there's a tag going around like top 12 of 2012 but I have more than 12 products so I'm going to go through each category and I'm just going to show you all of my favorite products of 2012. Okay, so the first product I'm going to show you is for my eyebrows. I discovered this in the beginning of 2012 and I've been using it ever since. It's from MAC. It's actually just a plain eyeshadow, but I use it for my eyebrows. It's in the shade Omega. If you are a blonde and have blonde hair, I definitely recommend this eyeshadow to fill in your eyebrows because it's just a perfect shade. Next, moving on to concealer, I have two different concealers that I absolutely love and use every single, single day from Maybelline. It's called the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer. I love this for underneath of my eyes. It makes them very bright and it also covers um, dark circles if you have them. And then for blemishes, I like to use this MAC Studio Finish Concealer, Sunproof 35, and my shade is in NC15. It's just a very thick concealer. Ugh, sometimes it's hard to open. It's a very thick concealer and it's perfect if you have any acne spots or blemishes. So definitely recommend this. This has to be one of my all-time favorite concealers. Next for face powder, it's from MAC. It's the Skin Finish Natural, the Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. And I use this constantly. This is like my favorite powder that I've found so far. My color is in light and it's just a mineralized powder that it's very nice to set your foundation. Now moving on to foundation, I would definitely recommend this one from Laura. It's a natural performance foundation, oil-free, paraben-free, fragrance-free. Love this so much. I really love the container as well. And my shade is in MP1. Now I recently discovered this foundation. It's from Kat Von D. Um, I know I haven't used this throughout 2012 because they just came out with it. But I have been using it nonstop since I bought it back in November. And it's the Lock It Long Wear Foundation. It definitely is long wear and it definitely is a high, um, like a full coverage foundation. You just need a little tiny bit and it goes a long way. I first picked up the lightest shade and it was too light for me, which is kind of crazy because I usually am the lightest shade in everything. So I brought it back and I got this one which is the second lightest and I think it's I'm not really sure what color it is but it's the second lightest one it's full coverage transfer resistant matte finish fragrance free oil free and it is also paraben free which is amazing so definitely recommend this one try it out get a sample at Sephora and let me know how you guys like it now moving on to bronzer I usually stick with these two I don't know I just really don't go out of the bronzer bubble I just usually stick to these two because I love them and I just swear by these so the first one is Hula and this is the Hula by Benefits and it's just a very nice matte bronzer. It doesn't have any shimmer, so it's good if you want to contour your cheekbones or your nose or anywhere else. It just is a very natural um, bronzer. So this is very nice if you have oily skin because it doesn't make your face look very shiny or shimmery. So I definitely recommend that one, and that's like a cult favorite. So is this one from NARS. It's NARS Laguna, and it's huge too. You get a lot of products in this. This has a little tiny um, bit of shimmer in it, but once you apply it on your face, you don't see it that much. This is more of like a golden bronzer. Um, this is just a very nice bronzer for all over your face. But if I want to contour, I go for the Hula bronzer. For blush, I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes. Like, I use these all the time. They stay on your face throughout the whole day. They don't get blotchy, and I just love the color selection that Tarte has for these. So this one is my most worn blush um, from this line. It's in the shade Blissful. It's basically a peach shade. Um, it has a little tiny bit of a pink undertone, but it's basically a matte um, peachy, peachy, peach, peachy peach. Anyway, so it looks really, really pretty on the cheeks, and I just love this one so much. And this is the blush that got me into more peachy toned blushes, because usually I go for a light pink. And ever since I bought this, I've been going for more of a peachy blush. So definitely recommend that one. And from MAC, I love this blush because it's a mineralized blush. So it has a little tiny bit of shimmer in it. And it's called Dainty from MAC. And I really love...
love wearing this by itself with no highlighter. If I'm in a rush, I just apply this on my cheeks and it really just lights up my face because it does have these little shimmers in it. This year, I've been all about the highlights. I used to never highlight my face because I have oily skin and I would always think that it would just draw attention to my oiliness throughout the day, but it actually looks very pretty and that's what I've been loving. So my all-time favorite is from Tarte, and this is in the shade Champagne. This is a gorgeous champagne with gold undertone. When you apply it on your cheekbones, it's just gorgeous. The texture of this is amazing, too. It's very soft and silky, and I actually like using this as an eyeshadow as well. Now moving on to eyes, I have two favorite eyeshadow primers that I've been using this whole year. The first one's from NARS. And this is just their Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. This is great if you have more oily lids. It keeps your eyeshadows on throughout the whole entire day. I definitely recommend the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This gives a very nice coverage on your eyes and it just takes away all the discoloration and everything. And it leaves a very nice base if you want to apply some eyeshadow on top. Now moving on to eyeshadows, I have three different eyeshadows to show you. The first one is from Stila. It's in the shade Kitten. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous champagne shade, and it's very popular and well-known. And now I know why, because I use it almost every single day, and it's just gorgeous all over the lid, even as a highlight. So pretty. Next is from MAC, it's one of their pigment eyeshadows, and it's in the shade Vanilla. I heard about this eyeshadow from Carly Styles. And this is such a gorgeous duochrome eyeshadow. Perfect, perfect highlight. It's a creamy white with some golden undertones. And you get a ton in here, so it will last you a very long time. And next from the Naked Palette, I just didn't want to say the Naked Palette, even though I love it so much. But I have been using this one particular shade in here all the time and it's just the shade Naked. It's just a light brown and it's matte as well so it's a very nice color for your crease if you just want to do a very light crease. Now for mascara, the first one's Roma London Sexy Curves. This is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. The brush is so cool because it has like three little bumps on it and the formula is amazing. Next is the Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express. Some people love it, some people hate it. I'm a lover of it and I really love the formula. It's more of a wet consistency than the others and usually I don't go for that but in this mascara I really like it. It doesn't make your lashes feel clumpy which I really like and the packaging is just really pretty. I love the colors. Okay now moving on to eyeliner. The first one that I'm going to show you is from MAC. It's the MAC Track Fluid Line. It's basically a black gel um, eyeliner and I really love it. It's so creamy and it lasts such a long time too without drying up. So I definitely say try this one out if you're in the market to find a nice black eyeliner. And for pencil eyeliners, my favorite has been this Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes. It's in the shade 23 L. It's a champagne eyeliner. I bought this in the beginning of 2012 and I still have more than half left. So this goes a long way, like a little bit goes a long way with this eyeliner and I just really love the champagne shade um, like on my waterline. And next has to be this Urban Decay Double Ended Eyeliner in Whiskey and Zero. I really like traveling with this eyeliner because it is double sided and I really like having a plain brown and a plain black um, with me. So these are my two favorites, they stay on my waterline pretty good. And I really like using these two if I want to smudge it in my upper lash line. Now for lips, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite lip products of this year. The first one's from Buxom. I basically love all the Buxom lip glosses, especially the lip creams. They are my absolute favorite. This is in the shade White Russian. It's a beautiful, beautiful nude. Sometimes it can be hard to get your hands on this color because it is so popular, but if you can, I definitely recommend it. They smell amazing and feel so great on your lips, very moisturizing. So check those out. Now for lipstick, my all-time favorite lipstick is MAC Angel. And this is the one that Kim Kardashian wears, and I just like the color of it. It's just a nice light pink, um, and it's just great for every day. I always carry this in my purse. So another lip product that I really like is from Revlon, it's their Lip Butters, and this is in the shade Cotton Candy. It's a baby pink with some gold shimmer in it, and for chapstick, 
Seriously, I've been using a pot a week of this. It's the Carmix um, Original Formula like lip balm. And I've been using this non-stop, day and night, and every hour in between, just slapping this on my lips. And it's very thick, so it stays on for a long time. And it really helps if your lips are very cracked and sore, especially during the winter time. So this is great. The smell's not that amazing, but it works so great. Um, you can get over the smell very easily because you will see that it works wonders once you apply it. Now moving on to brushes, I love Real Technique brushes. I discovered them this year and I just absolutely love them. Here's my top three of Real Techniques. This one right here is called the Deluxe Crease Brush. It's a little doom crease brush. This is perfect for under eye concealer or if you have little trouble areas like pimples and all that jazz on your face, it's great for covering that up because you can really just buff it in. Next for powder as well as foundation it's great for both this is called the buffing brush it's a very nice shape it's so soft and a lot of bristles um, are in this brush so it's very compact as well and uh, it just feels so nice on the face and then next this is the powder brush this is a huge huge brush but I love using this for either powder or bronzer mainly bronzer because it's so big you can really just buff it in your face. Now moving on to a couple nail products. Um, I saw in the original tag of the top 12 of 2012, like show your favorite nail products. And seriously, I cannot decide on just one nail polish because if you have been watching my videos, you know that I have a ton of nail polish. So I could not decide on just one. Like it was driving me crazy. So I decided to just pick a top coat that I use basically every time I paint my nails. It's the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Anti Chip Top Coat. Now this is such a great fast drying top coat. It dries your nail polish in less than a minute and it leaves your nails so shiny. This has to be like my 20th bottle of this. I'm serious guys. Like this is amazing. Go out and get, get this. And then I use every single time I do my nails this Melt Away Cuticle Eliminator by Butter London. I apply this on my cuticle area and let it sit for about a minute. And then I have a cuticle pusher so I just push back my cuticles with it. And it just takes all the gross cuticles and dead skin and all that. Um, off of your nails and it just leaves your nails very very smooth so this is so great if you're into like um, pushing back your cuticles and if you're really into giving yourself your own at home manicures check this one out and now I'm moving on to some beauty tools the beauty blender so soft and nice and I love using this with foundation it just blends it in so nicely makes your skin look so natural and I just love the finish that it gives. It's very nice and airbrush. That's the word I'm looking for. It gives your skin such a nice airbrush finish. I love this beauty blender. You can find it at Sephora. So I might actually stock up and get another one because I use this so much. And mine's starting to get all stained and gross. And then the last product for this long video is from Ardell's. The Brow Trim and Shape Little Razors. These are great if you do your eyebrows yourself and you really want to get a nice arch shape. Um, I definitely recommend trying out these little razors because it just gives your eyebrows a perfect, perfect shape. And uh, I just love these so much. So that's it for this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. I'm very sorry that it was kind of long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.